Hi there, in this video I'm going to discuss logarithms. So what is a logarithm? So a logarithm is another word for index or power. Now there is a relation between an equation in index form and an equation in logarithmic form. So let me go through that relation. So in general, if you have the equation in index form b equals a to the power c, you can rewrite that in logarithmic form as c is equal to log of b to the base of a. Now I'm going to show you how to use that relation in order to convert equations from index to logarithmic and from logarithmic back into index form. So let me show you how this relation works with example number one. So in part a we need to express in logarithmic form 1 over 5 to the power of minus 3 and that is equal to 1, 2, 5. So let me show you how this relation works. So back to the paper and pen. So here is example 1 part a. 1 over 5 to the power minus 3 is equal to 1, 2, 5. So let me write down the relation again. So b equals a to the c. So this equation is an index form. We could rewrite this in logarithmic form as c is equal to log of b to the base of a. First of all, what I'm going to do is let me make a comparison between the equation which is currently in index form with this part of the relation which is in index form as well. So let me take a red pen. So we can note first of all that a, a in this case the base is 1 over 5. So let me make a note that a the base is 1 over 5. How about to b? So b, so if I take a green pen, so b by comparison of these two equations, b is 1, 2, 5. So let me make a note, b is 1, 2, 5. And how about c? c by comparison is minus 3. So c minus 3. So I compared these two uh, equations which are in index form in order to work out what a, b and c are. Now it's just a matter of substituting a, b and c into the relation which is in logarithmic form. So if I substitute a, b and c into this part of the relation, c is minus 3, so minus 3 is equal to log of b, b is 1, 2, 5 to the base of a, a is 1 over 5. So as you can see, uh, this equation in question, currently it was in index form. So it was in index form and I wrote it in logarithmic form. So I have another example that we could do. So back to the screenshot. So in part b, we need to express in logarithmic form 2 over 3 to the power of minus 2 and that is equal to 9 over 4. So let's see how this example is done. So back to the paper and pen. So let me use the same steps as what I've used to solve part A. So first of all, let me write down the relation. So b a to the c, c is log b to the base of a. So second step, we need to figure out what a, b and c are. So if I compare the equation in index form with this part of the relation in index form. So let me be consistent with the colours. So I used red to um, obtain the a term. So if I compare a I can notice is 2 over 3 so let me make a note that a is 2 over 3 how about b so b I used a green pen so b is 9 over 4 so b 9 over 4 and how about c c is minus 2 so c minus 2. So now that I know what a, b and c are, 
let me substitute it into the relation which is in logarithmic form. So if I replace a, b and c into this part of the relation, c is minus 2, that is equal to log of b, b is 9 over 4, to the base of a, and that is 2 over 3. So this should be the solution to part b. Now I have another example, so back to the screenshot and example 2 part a we need to express in index form this equation which is in logarithmic form 3 is equal to log of 64 to the base of 4. So back to the paper and pen. So here is the equation in logarithmic form, 3 is equal to log of 64 to the base of 4. So as I did with the previous example, let me write down the relation. So if b is a to the c, c is log b to the base of a. Now if I make the comparison of this equation which is in logarithmic form, with this part of the relation, which is in logarithmic form also. So we can note that a, the base, is 4. So let me make a note that a is 4. How about b? So b in this case, by comparison, is 64. So b, 64. How about c? c by comparison is 3. So C, 3. So now that I know what A, B and C are, let me substitute it into the part of the relation which is in index form. So B in this case is 64. That is equal to A, which is 4, to the power of C being 3. So the equation in question was in logarithmic form. So this equation was in logarithmic form, but we wrote it in index form with the aid of the relation. So that completes uh, example 2 part A. Let's try another one. So I have another example. So back to the screenshot. So example 2 part B, we have to rewrite uh, this equation currently in logarithmic form in index form so minus 2 is log of 1 over 25 to the base of 5 so let's rewrite this in index form so back to the paper in pen so as I did with the previous example let me jot down the relation so b a to the c that means c is log b to the base of a. Let's have a quick comparison to figure out a, b and c. So if I compare the equation in logarithmic form with this part of the relation in logarithmic form as well, we can note that a is 5. So a is 5. How about b? So let me take a green pen. b by comparison is 1 over 25. So B is 1 over 25. And how about C? C in this case is minus 2. So C minus 2. So now that I know what A, B and C are, let me substitute them into the relation which corresponds to the index form. So B in this case is 1 over 25. That is equal to a which is 5 to the power of c which is minus 2. So that completes part b of example 2. So that completes the example and that also sadly ends this video. So I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video a like is very much appreciated. Do plenty of practice related questions and I hope to see you again. Thank you.